Let's go. Can we do it in one try? No. Okay. Already failed. Hey everyone. Welcome back to another episode of MTR Quest. Today we're going to be checking out what is new with the whole system. We're going to check out the brand new Questers Lounge. Look at this. It looks so nice. Look at the ceiling with all the end rods hanging from there. So if you haven't been following the updates on the Let's Play server, this system just had a big overhaul. So I think it's officially version 1.0.0 now. Before it was in like an alpha state. So now this has been all refurbished and quest has been the quest system has been changed. If you want to know more details, make sure you're in the Discord and you can access the Let's Play channels and take a look at the announcements there. So this says MTR Quest Season 1 Questers Lounge. So I'm not sure if there are going to be any additional seasons in the future or if Epic Puppy is just going to continue building on the existing system. But this all looks very exciting and it looks very nice. So down here, I think we have actually where the quests are going to be. This is a difficulty scale it looks like, blue being easy and red and black being hard. Actually, yellow is already hard, and then going to the other colors is even harder. So, looks like our quest has been moved here. Row 1A Expedition. Row 2A. Row 3 is Legacy. So, all the other quests you've seen in the video so far, they are being moved to this Legacy category because the whole system has been changed. You can still access them here, so if you want to do some of the quests I've done in the past, you can come to this section. Alright, row zero, torture and pain. <laughs> okay, what about this? Expedition. And then another difficulty scale. Okay, so it looks like there aren't too many quests at the moment. I think I want to try some of these new ones for Expedition. And here we have some really hard ones because gray, gray is hard color. Okay, so difficulty 5 out of 9 and 6 out of 9. These ones are 4 out of 9. I think we've done up north, at least my wife did like half of it, <laughs> I think. So now we're gonna do down south or hopping around or the far reaches so oh there's also a row to be destination reston fairview lake city all right i think i'm just gonna pick this one down south so let me click the button and see where we have to go ride the southwest plains line north to changshu chow I think what I've learned from these quests is you don't actually have to take that specific line to Changshu Chao. As long, as long as you somehow get there, you're gonna be good. So I don't know if that's the intention of the quest, but yeah, as long as you get there somehow. So I know that we have to take bus number one to get there. And I don't know if I'm going to the closest bus stop right now or am I taking a big detour. I know there's a stop right here, and last time when I tried to get the bus here, I got on the wrong one to the spawn bus terminus. So instead, I think I have to wait for Route 1 to Jinapak. So I shouldn't get on this next one that comes here, because this one goes to the terminus, I think. Oh, there it is. So that 4S was a different bus. But this one is the one that goes to the terminus, so I don't want this one. I don't know why it still says 9 seconds. Maybe my clock on my computer isn't synced up properly. Oh, here's a visitor. Hello. And then this is 2A... 2... 2A is the circular bus line. And I want this one. 
Simo Island Bus Terminus. Let me check the map just to be sure. Okay, these are quite the bus lines. I can't really tell. I think this is Cyan Heights Station. And then 4S that goes down to Simo Island down there. But that's not the one we want. We want the one to Jinnipak. So, yeah, the next one is still going to spawn. So I think we just have to keep waiting here for a little while. Wait a minute, I'm just looking at the map and kind of thinking I'm in the wrong area. Here is the one to Jinnipak. There we go. This is a 4S, so I'll be waiting for the one after. I noticed that the single decker Yutong buses, they have plug doors, so the doors actually animate. So that's pretty cool. If you want to have your own server like this to play with your friends, then please try out Shockbyte because it's an easy to use server hosting platform that you can just create a server real quick with your friends with this mod in it and it performs pretty well. I've tried it with lots of trains on there and it performs really smoothly. So if you want a server of your own, easy to set up with the online system map as well, check out Shockbyte and use the code MTRMOD for 25% off of your first month. So, Looks like the next bus is going to be coming in about 45 seconds. Uh, I don't know why it's so infrequent. Or there's a gap between services. So the last one was over like 2 minutes ago. And then the next one is like a minute apart. So I don't know what's going on with that. It says frequency 10 minutes. I don't really believe that. Well, as long as we can get on a bus, I'm happy. Alright, so the next one's 40 seconds apart, but it doesn't matter because we're going to get on this one. Okay. We're at Cyan Heights Station. And we're going to be heading to Chongshu Chao. We're going underground here, and you see a visitor running over there. I wonder where they're going. Is this tunnel actually high enough for the bus? It looks like it's barely just making it. Well, okay. We got through. And I think the Azalea CL is running again. Look, there are trains running through. And I think I've talked about these trains before. They have really cool light strips on them. Yeah, I would love to ride them again. Alright, we're getting closer. The next station is Changshu Chao, and I just got a peek of the Southwest Plains line coming out of the depot. This looks like a washing station for the trains. So, we should be getting pretty close. The next station is Changshu Chao. There it is. Alright. I, I know I've come here before for the quest, but I forgot where the button is. I think it's down in the concourse, actually. So I'm gonna get ready to get out in the back door where you exit. In North America, I think sometimes you can get out the front door when you exit the train, and they don't really care. Okay, we're gonna take the train to Lake City now. Oh, that was the train we just missed. And the next one is in two minutes. Okay, there's the train. Alright, we're getting on the front or the back, doesn't matter. We have to go all the way down to Lake City. I feel like I've done this quest before. I'm not sure. Or am I just imagining it? This quest just seems very familiar. I don't know. Let's just go. Alright, we're heading towards Lake City. 
Sitting in the front like this kind of reminds me of riding this sky train in Vancouver. Because I've been there, I've been to Canada a few times, and I just went a couple of weekends ago. And for those trains, they're fully automated, so kind of like this mod as well. And there are seats right in front. So this train uh, in Minecraft actually has a driver's cab like this. But the ones in Canada, they don't have a driver's cab necessarily. They have a cover over all these controls. So if there's ever a need for the driver to manually override the system and drive the train manually, they can just open the front cover and sit there and start driving the train. And there's a there's a single seat here facing forward that is like the most popular seat on the train because it looks out to the front and I always like sitting there if I get the chance. Some other trains on the on the system, for example on the Canada line, they are different from the rest of the system in that they don't use Bombardier trains, they use Rotem trains, so the Korean ones, kind of like the R trains in Hong Kong. Well, they don't look like the R trains in Hong Kong, but they're manufactured by the same company. So those trains are a bit wider. And there are four seats facing forwards in the very front. So there are four seats instead of one that you can look out. So that's pretty cool. I really want to go back soon to take the trains again. Okay, we're at Birch Hill right now. There's actually a wheelchair area on these trains. I think I've seen it before, I just haven't really commented on it. So these are like the normal seating, and then there's the wheelchair section. And then the driver's cab. It's also not very common to have just completely clear windows looking into the cab, because you don't want people bothering the driver when they're driving. So this is a pretty cool design though. So you can kind of see out the front of the train as well. To continue the discussion, about the Vancouver Skytrain. A few days ago they actually posted the like they're testing the new trains in Ontario, I think. That's where or Toronto, I forgot. I think Ontario where they're testing the new trains for the Skytrain. I think they're the Mark V trains and they look pretty similar to the Mark III trains that are on the Expo line right now, but they have a number of really cool upgrades. For example, dynamic system maps that have existed on the MTR for quite a while, but it's nice to see that they're adding those in as well. And what else do they have? They have fully articulated cars meaning that you can or they have gangways that you can walk from one side of the train to the other the mark 3 trains have that too but not the mark 1 or 2 because the mark 2 trains are comprised of two car segments that are joined together i've seen those videos and pictures on the translink blog and Facebook and stuff, and I'm excited to try them out when they come out. But I'm also going to miss the Mark 1 trains, because those are pretty fun to ride on as well. They remind me of like New York subway train cars, like it's a very standard North American kind of train style. And there's just a certain, certain like charm to old systems and old trains. So I'm gonna miss them when they're gone, even though I've literally been on them like two times, I think. <laughs> and just for like holiday. But you never know, they might preserve them, put them in the museum, hopefully. Alright, so the next checkpoint is right on this line, just to the end. I still don't know how to pronounce this properly. So I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to try to say it again today. So we're on this overground line. Is this even the overground? I'm not sure, but it's orange. And the trains kind of look like British trains. 
Well, they're a mix of all the elements from a lot of the trains. <laughs> As I've commented on it the, in the last one of the last videos. So, let's just go on ahead. This is... I wonder when this line is actually gonna get extended. I feel like this has the potential to get extended, but right now there's only two stops on the line. So, I don't know. We'll see. Part of the thing with these quests is that you actually don't know where you're going. You only know your immediate next destination, but you don't know how many stops there are how many goals there are i mean and which direction you're kind of headed to to i know that this quest focuses on the south side of the map and so i know i'm kind of going in that general direction like it's not gonna ask me to go to clanmar or something right now but i just don't know where i'll end up and i guess that's part of the mystery of the quest so it's telling me actually to ride the violet line east. Hmm. This is clearly not the violet line. This is the orange line. So, I don't know how it expects me to get from Lake City to here using the violet line. I know that you can change to the violet line at the station. Okay, the exit's actually further back a little bit. I've been here a few times, but not too familiar with it. I really like this station also. I think the checkpoint is... Where is it? I forgot again. Oh, there's a sign saying MTR quest this way. So... Whoa, what's this area? I don't think I've seen this part before. How do I even get in? Oh, there's the checkpoint. Does this mean I have to go to the station building? I think this area is where the purple line is. Historic marker, former site of St. Vincent Lutheran Church built in 1896. The parish moved to a new building in 1970 after seeing steady growth. SWT completed a full restoration three years later. Wow. That's really cool. St. Vincent's and Food Court is in here as well. So this is a refurbished church building. Hmm. Don't know how I feel about that. An old church turned into a train station. <laughs> Do you hold worship services up there? I don't know. Ooh, complete parkour at Algoma Beach. Let me check the map where that is. Alright, so it's here. And I'm over here. So just take the violet line. Westbound. The branch to Minoqua. Alright, looks like the next train is in two minutes. Alright, so this is a new hall that I haven't seen before. Oh, let me check out the concourse while I'm here. Oh wait, this is the concourse. And the overground transfer. So I didn't have to exit the gates, it seems like. I could have just went to this transfer hall, crossed to the other side, and pressed the button for the MTR quest. Okay, that's good to know. Alright, so now we're at the violet line. I don't know why my game is so laggy today. So this side is not in service. As it says right here. These trains are terminating. And then the trains outbound to the west will be here. So we're going to Minoqua. And we have to make sure that we get on the right branch. I'm pretty excited for this part of the quest because for the past few quests there has been no parkouring and that's one thing I quite like in the quest because that actually gives it like a challenge not just like riding the train to a destination so I'm pretty excited about this and I haven't done parkour in quite a while in Minecraft Platform I was never really good at it 
So I hope this one's not too difficult. I guess that's what the difficulty ratings are, huh? Maybe the harder ones include harder parkours or some kind of Minecraft challenge. I'm excited. So this is a really nicely retextured class 377. And it really feels like I'm riding a fancy train. Oh, how I do wish. Oh, someone's playing Race 2, Sign Heights. How I do wish North America had really nice trains like this. And all we get is Amtrak and Canada has a Via Rail. I haven't been on that one, but I don't have too high of hopes in that one. I've kind of browsed their tickets and they're not cheap at all. I thought it would be because I'm like, oh, maybe they're not America, so they might have better trains, but no. The Vancouver Skytrain is a really nice metro though, so I'm pretty impressed by that one. Of course, there's some things that they can learn from the Hong Kong MTR, but by itself, it's already really good, like fully automated with two to three minute headways in peak hours. That's really impressive. I'm really enjoying this ride for some reason. I wonder if this train will ever go above ground. But yeah. Recently, the tracks have been sinking under the stadium station in Seattle. So they had to close off, close off one of the two tracks for the light rail. That's like the only rail line through Seattle all-day metro kind of light rail line through Seattle. So I had to close one side of the track to try to fix it because if the train's tracks are sinking into the ground, that's not good. Apparently the soil is like too soft or something, so the track started to sink down, which is really silly. Like, why would that happen in the first place? But anyway, they had to close off one track, so the trains are now single tracking, and having 15 minute headways. So I'm like, how can anyone reliably use the train at that frequency? Like you can get down there and you never know when your train's coming. It could be in one minute, it could be in 15 minutes. And there's no ETA for the next train. All the system, passenger information system displays don't really work properly. So basically it's really annoying right now. So I try to take the bus instead of the train as much as possible. And some other news, they're opening the light rail extension in Tacoma, which is the, a city next to Seattle on the south. So I might take a trip down there one of these days to check it out. It opens in like mid-September, I think. I have to double check when that's opening, but I don't think it'll be that exciting because not many people are gonna use it, I I think. Oh look, you can see through the glitched chunks or like the, the chunks that are not loading, you can see another train down there. That's pretty funny. Wait, what station is this? I don't want to miss my stop. I've been talking too much. This is Danielston Memorial, of course. That's why there's a big interchange here. Platform two, the train two. I remember coming to the Violet Line platforms when I was building the high speed to Danielston Memorial. See, the quest kind of forced me to take local routes down here. If I knew that I'm going to go to Algoma Beach right away, I might have just taken the high speed from Spawn to Danielston Memorial and then changed to the purple, the violet line. Alright. Algoma Beach. Change here for the Sumeru line. I'm not gonna take the Sumeru line. Maybe the quest will make me do that later. But, wow, it can even render the Arabic text. Arabic is right to left. So sometimes I'm not sure how text will be rendered on a computer. And I can't imagine how people switch from left to right to right to left so so quickly when like... I don't know, because when 
I'm dealing with right to left text on a computer and then when I press the left and right carrots on the keyboard the cursor sometimes doesn't go the way that I expect so I'm really curious as to how people who use right to left languages pretty consistently I wonder how they they think about it like I'm really curious as to how it works so if someone knows about that feel free to leave that in the comments because I'm curious oh it looks like the parkour's right here okay let's go can we do it in one try no okay already failed okay let's get let's go slow go slow and take these jumps one by one so we have to sprint and jump sometimes we might have to go back a little bit sprint and jump nice I think these are only like three block jumps at most oh what how did I fall I know four block jumps in Minecraft are like almost impossible, so I hope Epic Puppy didn't put any of that. Okay, we got this. Third time's the charm, let's go. And... Oh, look at the train. Okay, don't get distracted by the train. Wow. It's a retextured K train, is it? Okay, focus, focus. It's really cool that you can parkour while seeing the train on the side as well. <laughs> okay, last few. Ooh, I almost missed that one. And... I can just press it without going there. But I guess I'll just finish it. Yeah. Okay. Circulator IT North or Circulator IP LCM to Moistney. Okay, let me just do it backwards, just for the fun of it. Wow, backwards is much easier. Ooh, okay. So which way do we go? Alright, looking at the map, we're at Algoma Beach. Looks like we have to get back to Danielston Memorial. And take the circulator IT up to Moistney. Okay. So we're back, and this side is the Sumeru line, I think. So we'll have to go back here to the Violet line. Back down we go. This is pretty cool. The concourse is split into two sides. This escalator only goes up, and this escalator only goes down. So the entry gates are on this half, and exit gates are on that side. The only thing is that if you exit it wrongly and you want to get back on the platforms, you either have to take the lift or you have to exit and come back in. Two minutes? Okay, that's fine. On the expo line on the SkyTrain, the line splits into two sides. One side to Production Way University and the other side to King George. So the combined frequency on the join part is about 2 to 3 minutes, while the branches are about 5 to 6 minutes. So this is a, about right for one of the branches. So the frequency on this line is actually quite similar to the expo line. And the Seattle one's every 15 minutes, which is totally ridiculous. Okay, anyway, there's a train on that side. And Sumeru line is also in Arabic. I think this side also comes every six minutes as well, right? Four minutes, okay. I guess this doesn't have to be exactly even. I kind of think it's pretty cool how you put the passenger information display systems on the wall of the tunnel. I don't know if I might make it a little harder to see for passengers, but in this case it works out pretty well. So you can come here and it kind of catches your eye as well because the whole tunnel wall is blank except for 
this part where you can see when the next train is coming. Okay. Alright, the train's coming. And we're going just one stop to Danielson Memorial, then we're catching the Circulator IT. I forgot when the Hanakoshi line is going to open. Did it open already? I'm not really keeping up with the Let's Play updates with what people are building, so I should probably do that. But I think it's going to be ready soon. I think Forrest is still figuring out the schedules for the line, but I'm pretty excited to take a look at it. Next Maybe even do a driver's station. view on it. I feel like that would be a really good line to do that to Metro, on. HSR, and circulator services. There are seven people online right now, and the MSPT is really close to 50, so I'm a little worried. But with the new backend update, which I'm aiming to get it done as soon as I can. I mean, I always say that, but don't count me on this, but maybe by the end of September, that's my goal to get at least a working prototype of it. Maybe not a release version, but at least some sort of playable version. But we'll see. There's still a lot to be done, and I'm working as fast as I can, so I would appreciate a little bit of support if you're able to on Patreon, or you can choose the server subscriptions on the Discord. That's also an option. But whatever you can do to support, I would really appreciate that. Because this is a really big task, and I'm spending months and months on it. So, hmm, I just ran down to this platform, not knowing which side the train is going to. The side is going to Point Park. Is this where I want to go? This is north. So I assume is it is. is I should probably check point first. Station. Hmm. Well, <laughs> it's going north. So I hope this is the right way. Also, these trams look really nice. This is the newer version of S43's trams. Oh, there's a visitor that's following me. Hello. But S43 has been making a lot of these trams. One of the Let's Play episodes, I check out his system where there's a bunch of fictional German trams. So go check out that episode if you haven't already. And I think this is one of the newest models. I haven't seen this in that this video. So that's pretty cool. There's also lights by the doors. Let's check. Yeah, Moist Knee is the next station. There's lights by the doors that tell you when the doors are open. And there are TV screens, you can walk through the cars. Really cool. I don't know if these trains are joined by two car sections. But, yeah. Or if they can be connected to as many middle cars as you want and have them all connected with gangways. I'm not sure. This part looks pretty funny because there's like 13 seats in a row, 12 seats in a row, all in the line. Okay, this station is Moisni, so I'm gonna get out and find the button. Novi Vodka store is protected by barrier blocks. Okay. <laughs> Where's the button though? Is it up here? This way is the exit. I get a little claustrophobic with the sign so close to the ground. Okay, here's the button. Alright, I completed my quest. Volume 2, down south. I got 40 quest points and player XP. So since this system got revamped, it kind of lost my progress for the other stuff, which is okay. But so see, I have gotten 40 quest points, player XP, completed my first quest because the game doesn't know that I've completed the older ones because the system changed. And I need one more 
completion until I get the copper mastery level. So next time, we are going to make sure that we get the copper level. Oh, actually, I think that this line used to be a cable car, right? The circulator IT used to be a cable car line, but now it's been converted to a train. Okay, so we can just head to Danielson Memorial, take the high speed, and go back to spawn. Or we can just end the video here as well. Whoa, look at the lights at the door. Cool. And the green light will turn off once the door is closed. Really cool. The visitor is following me around again. Alright. So I'm gonna wrap this up right here. Maybe I don't... I don't really have to get back to Sign Heights. It doesn't really matter. But thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed the first episode of MTR Quest version 1.0. Which has the new systems, new quests, and... Basically, improvements all over the board. So come check it out. Come join the server. If you don't know how to join the server, please join the Discord first, and the instructions are right there. The Discord link is in the description of this video. So make sure to subscribe, like this video if you enjoyed it, so that you can get updates for future videos. Remember that if you want your own server, check out Shockbyte and use the code MTRMOD to get 25% off your first month. Let me know what I should do next for future Let's Play videos or quest videos, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye!